Do you want to wake up to your date wearing your shirt because it smells so damn good? If you said yes to these questions, Intoxicated by Killian is the fragrance for you. So I'm actually going to do this video. It's probably going to be my uh, hardest video to make. Just because this is my baby fragrance. This is the fragrance I would uh, leave all of my fragrances for. In this video, we're going to be doing Fragrantica versus Intoxicated by Killian. Look at that bottle. So I'm not expecting any bad reviews on Fragrantica on this fragrance. If there's any bad reviews in this Fragrantica video, they're going to hear it. They're going to hear from me. And I'm not going to do absolutely anything. So, let's go ahead and start off with the, the pros and cons, how we always start off. Refined and appealing scent, absolutely. Great for romantic evenings, absolutely. Good longevity, absolutely. Coffee note smells exactly like Turkish coffee, absolutely. Punch of crackling spice without smelling like car air fresheners. Absolutely. Similar to Thierry, Thierry Muggler, Mugler, Angel Man. Neil says so. so. Absolutely. Scent of sweet coffee. Absolutely. Appealing to the masses. Absolutely. Cons. None. There's just letters under here that I'm going to go ahead and read. They're not cons. May not work well for those who don't like the scent of cardamom. Even the dog's angry. Yeah. Come here. Come on. Me and Daisy. She can't believe it. Right. Strong cardamom scent, which may not be pleasant to some. Absolutely not. Patchouli and cardamom mix can be overpowering. No. Linear scent that does not develop throughout the day. No. Not enough cinnamon or nutmeg for some? No. Scent could be soapy or leaning towards a cold smell? No. May smell like bug spray or male cat piss on some body chemistries? No. Not as soon as, not as good as other Killian fragrances like Black Phantom. This is the best Killian fragrance. This is the best fragrance that's ever been made. So no. Top notes. Cardamom. Middle notes. Nutmeg and cinnamon. Base notes. Coffee, vanilla, mocha, caramel. Now let's go ahead and read if I find any negative comments. Actually, before that, let's go ahead and see what this reminds people of. Amen, Mugler. Because Neil said so, I agree. Amen, Pure Coffee Mugler. I guess so. Amir, your drug, Paris Corner. Absolutely. Alexandria 007 fragrance. No idea. Soul Batik Moresque? No idea. So, let's go ahead and read these uh, most popular negative comments, which probably aren't even for this fragrance. 
So bummed on this one, can't pick up anything except serious amounts of cardamom. Not even a nice cardamom, it's like a somehow soapy cardamom. She probably put sticks of soap in her nose. I'm very sad that this frag, that this frag didn't work out for me. I was looking forward to it because I love cinnamon, nutmeg, and of course coffee. To my nose, I literally cannot smell any of these notes. I just smell cardamom through the, through and through. The smell doesn't change from opening to dry down. My sister likes this to likens this as citronella. I would say this smells a lot like bug spray and nothing else. Not sure how the others can smell, how others can smell all the other notes. This is a first for me. The name is T-R-T-O-T-R. -T -T this person can't even spell. They were probably trying to spell Trotter. And you could trot your candy ass away from this fragrance. Next one. Usually a fan of Killian. Unfortunately, this is a pass for me. Good longevity, six-ish hours, and I was still catching whiffs. However, it started off slightly soapy and then not sure what happened because it really started smelling like a weird mix of patchouli and cardamom on here, even though patchouli isn't listed as a note. Once it hit about 30 minutes, it didn't develop any further, and that's all I kept smelling. Acro will wake will still be my go-to coffee fragrance, but I'm glad I at least tried this one. The fragrance. You didn't try this fragrance. The fragrance tried you, and you're not good enough. Next one. I get no coffee at all. On me, it's not warm or sweet either. All I get is a very green cardamom, which sadly turns a bit sour on my skin. Warms up a teeny, a tiny bit in the dry down, but the sourness is still there, sadly. Really wanted to love it. Get better skin. You're not worthy of the fragrance. Last one. I was hoping this would be the, the coffee scent for me. But there is something leaning cold in the fragrance, and I'm sure I'm not sure yet. This there is a chocolate undertone, and I get what people mean when they say soapy, and that's a really that's really a bummer for this set profile. I think people are confusing powdery with soap. Anyways. Let's go ahead and read uh, the real reviews where it says uh, positive reviews, but these are just honest people. I'm going to write this review as an infomercial. Are you tired of famous date fragrances like the one and La Nuit? La Nuit? I don't even know how to say that. La Nuit having very poor performance. So bad that your date probably can't even smell it. Do you like the scent of sweet coffee? Do you like fragrances that have a punch of crackling spice without smelling like car air fresheners? Did you like the idea behind Angel Men but found the opening to be too edgy and not harmonic with the rest of the notes? Do you want to wake up to your date wearing your shirt because it smells so damn good? If you said yes to these questions, Intoxicated by Killian is the fragrance for you. We're going to go ahead and end it there. That was a really funny way to end the video so that's all i got for you guys this was just a fun video um we know how i feel about intoxicated i wasn't gonna you know take this one too seriously just because you know whatever these people say they're lying because this is the most perfect fragrance that you could ever get so the only thing that would make this fragrance better imagine this fragrance black and gold and a Zerzhoff bottle and presentation now if there was six ounces of that 
I would spend my entire paycheck on getting six ounces of that bottle. Imagine how cool that bottle would look. Imagine how good that bottle would smell. But that's all I got for you guys today. Please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a video I've been waiting to make. And I finally can pick up the package tomorrow. Hopefully. If you don't see an Alexandria video tomorrow, I failed you. Have a good one.